Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Sky Guy Collectors. This is your boy Luis, and this is my co host. What's up, guys? Chris here. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Yo, first, guys, we need you real quick. Go get your grandma. Go get your grandma. Go get her. I don't know why we keep talking about grandmas, but grandma, we love you. Come through. You know what I'm saying? Go go grab her. Go grab her. I, you know, my grandma's been staying with me, and I was about to go get her, but she's not here this weekend. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I'm going to bring her in here so she can tell you guys, please like, subscribe, and hit notifications. That's it. Hit that bell. Hit that bell, guys. You know, it's the only way that this channel can continue to grow. We love you guys so much. We thank you guys for your support, you know, your comments, you know, uh, you guys sharing on Facebook, you know what I mean? Everything will be, our social media will be in the description. Continue to tell your friends. It's the only way that this nerdy world can continue to expand. Uh, we love you guys so much. Um, to Today, we have a, like, crazy, crazy, heartbreaking episode. So, um... It's going to be like, it's going to be fun, but it's definitely emotional. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Shed a tear. I'm definitely, like, my eyes are so red right now because I can't stop crying for the past 24 hours. Um, like, my hair doesn't even know what to do anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, but my hair we fell get, out. My hair yeah, fell out. I don't know what I, happened. Yeah, man. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm sorry for you. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. I, my fault. I, if I knew that was going to be a tie for you, old age, fault. man. It's old age. Sorry. It happens. It happens to the best of us. I still look good, though. That's the only thing I care about. That's true. You look good, man. That's true. You right. <laughs> true. I'm trying to be like you. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be like you. Oh, uh, out here, Bobby Swag and stuff. But whatever. <laughs> um, but real quick, you know, like, yo, Chris, you told me you got a surprise for me. Yes, I do have a surprise for you. So, all right, man, tell me about the surprise. There's this one figure that's very uh -oh. hard to get, and I actually found it on uh, BigBadToyStore.com. Okay, we'll put, okay. Link, we'll put the link down below. And uh, I know you're a big fan of this character, and oh, so, so I bought I uh, bought one for me. Oh, here, nice Ahsoka Black Series figure, okay. very hard to get, and. I bought one for you, so here you go, buddy. Hey, yo. Okay. I like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe we could do an uh, 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 unboxing together on this figure. The, the figure is nice. Looks really, 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 really good. Bro, very hard bro. to get. Bro. bro, she is literally my favorite Jedi. I think I've said it like a hundred times on this channel. Like... She is one of my favorite. I think she's, even though she may not be considered a Jedi, I think she's the most, like, one of the greatest characters in the Star Wars universe. And to finally have this into my collection, I am happy. Especially since, like, I've been collecting a lot of Black Series figures uh, recently. So so maybe you'll uh, be able to take the blades out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to say, I'm sorry. I didn't know that Obi-Wan blade came out. I was afraid to break it. Okay, here, here, guys, here. Just so you guys look, look, look. My Obi Wan. Okay, look, hold up. Ready? Oh snap! I almost broke it. <laughs> Ready? Okay, 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 guys. I promise it comes out. I promise it comes out. Ah, look at that. You see that? It came out. But I was so terrified. <laughs> guys, guys, I'm never doing that again because that was so. That like literally gave me a heart attack. Um, I'm unboxing a Black Series figure, so he didn't know. I didn't know. I was scared. He's very scared, but they all come out, so he could put the lightsaber on the belt with no blade. So there you go. So I, I ain't gonna lie, it look it, it looks stupid though. Come on, guys, if you guys saw it, go watch it because it looks stupid. But I'm just saying. Enough about Star Wars. This is a Marvel. <laughs> this is a Marvel, a Marvel thing. All right. So. You know, we told you last time in our toy hunt that, you know, like, we got a special guest for you guys. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? And you know we had to do this right, and we had to get a special person to come back for us, and um, I'm going to introduce him. So welcome my friend, Joe Dalio. Yo, what up, Joe? Oh, my God. Guys, I'm so glad to be back. Um, I'm just... I'm. I'm feeling things. I'm not going to tell you why I'm feeling things because I'm yeah. going to leave that up to tell. I'm going to leave that up to you guys to tell me why I'm why I'm feeling things. <laughs> I can't even talk straight right now. Well, 
That's not true. Well, you know, thank you, Joe, for tuning in again. Uh, we appreciate you. Yeah, man. Appreciate you so much. Um, but real quick, Joe, update us real quick about your... Before we get into the episode, update us on your toy collection. Have you collected anything with since the last time we, we saw you? Well, I am really just super glad to announce, guys, that I am now officially a father. And uh, oh. let's see if we can get him over here. Yes! Oh, oh my God! He's so and cute. you're, yeah, yeah. He's learning how to talk and everything already. Yeah, he won't roll, really shut up. So I mean, other th other than that, I got a gimbal. Apparently, that's something that you put on your phone so you could do like crazy, dude. Dude, stop trying to force control the remote. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, we're putting, we're putting him we're putting him back up. No, don't you dare disrespect him. Nobody puts Grogo in a corner except for me. So, all right. So you, said uh, you, got a gimbal, you said you got a gimbal for the phone. How is that? The, it, 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 he's done. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, it, it, it's 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 gimbally. I've gotten some really great action shots. I was hitting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Grogu, let's go. Chris, the gimbal's fine. All my thunder's gone. <laughs> yeah, his baby Yoda coming in with the win. Watch out, he might snatch your glasses. <clears throat> yeah. If he does, um I'm I don't have the dark saber, but I will go oh my god. Who is the who uh, why am I blanking on the guy's name? The bad guy from Mandalorian. The um, bad guy from every show. Moff Gideon. What's his name? Moff Gideon. Yes. I'll, I'll go Moff Gideon on him right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 snap. Yo, that was so smooth. Okay. Okay, hold up. Before we get into the episode, we got to just bow down to Joe for being so smooth right there. But, <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, we go right into our episode. We're going to be talking. I'm going to just disclaimer. I'm saying it now. Disclaimer. Alert, 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 alert. Uh, we're going to be talking about the season finale of, spoiler alert, yeah, everything. We're going to be talking about the season finale of WandaVision. So, if you haven't seen WandaVision, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Like, wh wh why'd you wait this, like, what, yeah, your life must suck. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to say that you're hanging out with your grandma, but you're clearly not because she hasn't stinking subscribed yet. Yes. Obviously. That's true. <laughs> we're working so, on it, Joe. So we're working true. on it. But I'm pretty sure your grandma even seen WandaVision. So what are you doing? If if of all the Karens have seen WandaVision, why haven't you? Okay, yeah. So anyway, so if you haven't go if you if you haven't seen it, go, go, stop, watch it, come back, and then we'll get into this. Um so I'm gonna go and start with a heavy hitter real quick for you guys. Um so my question is for you, Joe. WandaVision, season finale, do you think it was a big success or do you think it was a bust? So it's hard for me just to look at one particular episode because they really, this is a very different type of TV show, quote unquote. Um, uh -huh. It just, it was really one cohesive story. I mean, this was really a long movie in, in, in the best way, other than the, you know, the, the nonstop stingers at the end of the uh, shows. You know, I mean, other than that, I mean, if you could, if, if they just edited it slightly, it was like a whole movie. So I have to look at this in a way where I can look at it as a whole. Like last time we talked, I think what we were up to episode five. Um, and then we had like a lot of great episodes, uh, mainly the last episode where we finally got to see the origin of, you know, like, well, not the origin, but like a lot of Wanda and Petro's uh, backstory. Um, yeah. So that was really a powerful, amazing episode. Um, and it just, it really started opening up some, you know, new things that we're going to have to talk about that, that she was apparently a witch all along and the Mind right. Stone just freaking, you know, like um, enhanced them or something. Oh, is that why they were the enhanced? Son of a bitch. I'm smart. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. You put, it together. you put it together. You put it together, man. But we're going to catch the joke. I'm on to you. 
Yeah. <laughs> you let her know. You let her know. Uh, but, sorry, thank you. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Um, so question to you too. Um, wow. I was about to say Joe again, but I met Chris. But Whoa. question to you, Chris. My name is Chris. Yeah. Do we need name tags? Dude, we need name tags, dude. Apparently, my fault. <laughs> See, this is why we need grandmas, because, you know, grandmas always be like, yeah. look, respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But anyway, same same question to you, Chris. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that the this, this season finale was a hitter, or do you think it was a bust? Um, it's uh, – I'm not going to say it's a bust, because it's Marvel. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say it's Marvel. Uh, uh – it's a it's a bust for all the fans that got caught up in the hype. Uh, I'm one of them. I was one of them too. So, with that being said, before I continue, Falcon Winter Soldier. I'm not watching anything on YouTube, reading anything. I'm going there just with blinders on because I don't want nothing to spoil. But uh, it was good. Um, literally towards the end of the. Mo- the uh, movie end of the episode <laughs> <laughs> you know it was like a movie end of the episode the the actual emotional parts of the show were emotional I yeah. teared up a little bit I'm not gonna lie I teared up a little um, I am a little bit disappointed how she gave up her kids so easily mm. you know uh, but then it, you know it answered my question at the end she's dabbling in the dark hole now and yeah. you hear the kids cr- calling for her so uh, it was good. I think uh, I think Marvel did a de- decent job. Uh, uh, they didn't take risks. Uh, you know, uh, I mentioned that before. Uh, they didn't take risks. I wish they took a little bit more risk mm. in the episode because there's a mm. lot. And yeah. uh, we're going. We are going into the multiverse. It is happening. But we didn't see no multiverse here. That's what shot like little shocking with me. Yeah. Um, I think I think they uh, Marvel missed on that mark. I do believe. But other than yeah. that, the episode was good. Yeah, I think for me, man, for me guys, like I'm not gonna lie, when I saw it, I even I texted Chris right away. I was like, bro, I'm disappointed. Like I, I was I was disappointed, and the the only reason why I was disappointed, it's a phenomenal like season, like it's a phenomenal show. I loved it from the beginning to the end. You know what I mean? But like I was disappointed because. Man, I was just, I was just wrong. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like I, like we're all wrong. Yeah, yeah, like you know, we were all wrong. I mean, even the director said it previously. He was like, "Yo, ninety percent of all the theories out there, like you guys are wrong." Like, and I, I was, I thought he was just trying to like pull, pull, a, like pull, a, like you know, like tell a lie. But he was telling the truth the whole entire time. So, like, which leads me to my next question for you guys is like, man. Do you think Marvel missed an opportunity to bring in X Men with Quicksilver? Um, so I'll take this one. I don't think they missed an opportunity because Marvel is also they're always very calculated with what they're doing. And this mm-hmm. we've got to remember this was Wanda's story. So when we start talking about all these other people that could have came into it, the way the X Men could have came into it, the way they could have broke more into the multiverse, you've got to remember that. At the core of the story, it was about Wanda and Vision. And Mm -hmm. Wanda has never embraced, you know, really her Scarlet Witch uh, persona. And here's the other thing about it, is that before Marvel, or I should say before Disney owned Fox, they had to make their own version of Wanda. Somebody whose powers weren't mutant-based, somebody who didn't have any, um, any background in, in, I don't know, witchery. I don't want to say the occult because, you know, my mom might watch this. My grandmother <laughs> wouldn't care, but my mom would say, that's demonic, you know, do 20 Hail Marys. Is that a football <laughs> thing? I'm not sure. I'm not Catholic. But, you know, I do this a lot, though, because it's fun. Um, so, <laughs> so um, but, like, honestly, guys, I think, I think they really did a great job uh, evolving her. You know, mm-hmm. to to the to the to the to the subtle hints that she, you know, she was a magic user, um, essentially in in like, you know, she had essentially Doctor Strange's, you know, backgrounds or abilities or were able to learn that, you know, because yeah. all that whole universe is um, is coming together. One of the things that I really did love, it was just a subtle nod was the end of the show 
um, the very last scene where she's doing her astral projection and what music is playing. Doctor Strange. Yeah, I watched it for a second time with somebody else and I looked over at them and I was just like, did you hear the Doctor Strange music? And they were just like, I, I, I didn't see that. I'm like, we're, we're watching Doctor Strange right now, you monster. Yeah. Yeah, so, you. watch Doctor Strange last night. Felt good about it. Yeah, you know, I, uh, to, to feed off your point there, you know, uh, eventually the X Men will make their way in the MCU. Yeah. As as fans, I think we were, or we are being impatient. We want it now. We want it now. And I think that's what we thought when we were going to get WandaVision. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, more and more thinking about it, I like it that she was never named Scarlet Witch when she was an Avenger or when she was brought in. Now, yeah. she, now she is, which is awesome. We're getting that. She, she doesn't know who she is yet till now. Right. right. So that, that's, uh, sure. uh, you know, uh, I, I'll take that. Um, it's just out of all the episodes, the last episode is not my favorite. I'm going to just say that the last episode is not my favorite. And all of the whole season, I do like the season. The season was good. Yeah. To start I, up to start up this next chapter is good. Yeah. So like, I definitely like, like let's be honest. There's a lot of things that like Marvel didn't answer with the season finale, which I think it's great that they didn't answer a lot of questions because then, like, that's what we have the movies for. You know what I mean? Um, but I, I could say, like, you know, it was kind of like a, it was kind of like a, like a stab to us as fans to bring in Evan Peters, who literally played Quicksilver in the Fox version and kind of just be like, all right, he's just like another individual. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that was a stab. Like, wasn't just anybody. He was yeah. boner. I mean, boner. yeah, but was there. who who was we looking for in the beginning of the show? Right. right, he was looking. He was looking for somebody that was in the winter witness protection program. So he could still be the quicksilver. He could still. I'm, listen, I'm not gonna say that's definitely gonna happen, but it's still a possibility. <sighs> and this is Marvel. Anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, I, I mean, mean anything it, can happen. Man, I like if they make it happen, they have to make it like supernatural. Like, like I don't know how they would do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, they're already they're already setting the stones for it. I mean, Wanda's still going to be involved in it somehow. The question is, is because of everything that happened with the pandemic, everything got messed around. Now, if you guys remember the original schedule for uh, Phase Four, we were supposed to be getting Doctor Strange in like a few weeks from yeah. now. Yeah, it was supposed yeah. to be WandaVision, and then we'd go right into WandaVision, right into the movie. So now we're jumping ahead, and the first one that, that discusses the multiverse that we know of um, is going to be Spider-Man. Um, and we know that's going to take place just based on the casting that they have. I mean, Tobey right. Maguire and Andrew Garfield are maybes, but it's almost a set thing. But we know 100% that Electro from the, from, uh, the Sony Universe is going to be there. You know, so I mean, yeah, and it, and Doc Ock, Doc Ock is going to be there too. The original, right? From yeah, from the Tobey Maguire, and I guess that brings me to like my next kind of question because, like Joe, you bring it up. Yeah, we're not going to have Doctor Strange until next year in 2022, and I think March actually. So like a year from now, we'll get Doctor Strange. Um, <clears throat> do you think that this is like a big gap to have for WandaVision? Like, or do you think this was, or do you, do you, do you still believe that WandaVision is the, is the great way to start phase four? I do think it's a great way to start phase four. Um, I mean, we had a soft start of phase four, even though it wasn't technically phase four, we had like an epilogue with, uh, far from home, you know? Right. So like, you know, this, uh, this was a great way to start it. Um, like I said, I, I understand everybody being disappointed, but like, I'd rather them do it right. I'll tell you what I was disappointed with because I've been, I've been like, I've been, I've been kind of like over praising it for, a, for essentially a long movie that had the benefit of, you know, extra time. I mean, what were we talking? It was at least 30 minutes an episode mm -hmm. and 20 minutes of credits, but you know, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> you know, but yeah. you know, what? That, that's thirty. That's thirty. That we're we're talking. We're talking. You know, uh, over uh, about three hundred minutes worth of runtime, and they seem like they 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 rush stuff. Like at the yeah. end, I mean, you know, like like you know, we didn't really get as much closure or or, or more screen time with like Darcy or. Or Wu, who is you know Monica. the best character. Monica, Monica got short change. Monica, you know I would like to see more of Monica. You know I I agree with you. White Vision, White like, Vision. yeah. Well, I'd, where I did had he a problem go? With it. Yeah. All right, so then, then there goes to my follow up question, right? Um, we're gonna, don't worry. We're gonna tackle like the phase four in a little bit, but like got my little Obi Wan lightsaber, but uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, but yeah guys so like you know you guys bring it up that all, all these like you know el- the season finale like yeah it was 50 minutes but it felt really rushed you know what I mean to like kind of end it so like what do you think about these characters that kind of just like who who we saw develop throughout the whole entire like series just kind of fall flat at the end like well we, we know um at the end of the last episode, Rambo has been called to see Nick Fury in space. Mm-hmm. So right. we know she's going to space. So that's probably going to be in uh, Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel two, probably. Yeah. Um, do you think it'd be Captain Marvel two, or do you think it'll be in Secret Invasions? Well, she Rambo's already casted for um, yeah. for uh, for Captain Marvel two, so she's going to have a big role in that movie. Yeah. Isn't Captain gotcha. Marvel coming out before Invasion, Secret Invasion? Yes. Um, I yes. believe so, yeah. Yeah, so I think she'll be in both, but I think she'll be in, in Captain Marvel. Um, Darcy, I think she'll be in the next four. Love and Thunder? Love and Thunder. I think I think she'll be in yeah. there. So we'll definitely see her. Her character was very quiet. I think I understand how she was big in the beginning. She did all her research and all that stuff. She got everybody understanding what was going on. Um, I think we're going to see more of Lee. I think Lee uh, showed that he could be the man. I like the actor. He's a very good actor. Um, uh, I like uh, he on a TV series on Channel 7, uh, Fresh Off the Boat. He, he's yeah. very good. He, he's very good uh, on there. Um, so, uh, yes, we didn't get a lot of answers with a lot of these people. Yes, everything was rushed. I'm sorry. Something like this, the episodes need to be at least... An hour. And for forty five to an hour, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and and um before I look before you know, but you lose the end credits. Yes, they were long, but they have to credit everybody who who made it. And this wasn't a regular regular TV series. This was right. a movie, so there's yeah. a lot more production that goes into this. So I get it. They had to have these end credits for all these people. But come on, I'm just hoping moving forward that. Disney listens to us because a lot of people complained about the runtime. Yeah. Also, action. Maybe have a little bit more action. Like the action that we had in the last episode was awesome. Vision versus Vision and then the two witches versus each other was good. Yeah, like, yeah. like So I want people to understand, like, we love WandaVision. We, we love it. I, I think as fans, we do have to, like, uphold certain standards of, like, you know what I mean? Uh, we can't just take everything kind of, like, face and be like, all right, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, that's the whole point of this community, that we can just be like, hey, man, like, this was cool, but I wish it could be it could be better in this aspect, you know? Like, like the runtime. Like, 30 minutes was way too short. You know what I mean? And I feel like they could have avoided a lot of... Um, like like hurriedness if they had used that full 45 to 50 minutes plus like it's disney plus like you guys are not running ads you know what i mean like no one's could no one's stopping you from running like to do 45 minutes you know um <clears throat> plus like you got fans that are gonna watch it entirety so they're not gonna be like ah oh, damn like 45 minutes like you serious like they're gonna watch it like you know what i mean i think that's um, a testament though to how good the show actually was because we were always left wanting more. I yeah. see TV episodes that I'll get through and I'll pause and I'll forget to go back and watch them. WandaVision had us hooked. Um, yeah. And it's still one of those shows that I would go back to. You know, it's just like, like I said, they ended the show as I expected the show to be ended. 
I think we were just looking for some extra fun stuff in there. But like, you know, it's once again, it's just Marvel is is the king of holding the carrot right out in is front it, of you and then just it, you along. Is it is it Marvel or is it Feige? I think it's more Feige than anything. <sighs> Feige, Feige knows what he's doing. Yeah. I tr- I trust him in doing it. He they pick the best actors, like the actors and actresses that they get. I can't see anybody else playing these roles that they get. That's why, yeah. I, you know, he's Marvel is doing a good, good job. Uh, I think uh, Star Wars needs to do a little bit like them and start <laughs> casting certain people. Uh, yeah. But, but uh, I think they got a good mantra of making movies. Yeah, yeah, they they, they definitely do. So then, uh, going back to something that we said earlier, right? The fighting sequence. Like, the fighting sequence in season finale was amazing. You know what I mean? And what I love is that we got to see two different kind of, like, fighting styles. You know what I mean? We got to see the all-powerful witches go, go at each other. And then we saw Vision, who is, you know, an, an intelligent being going into an intelligent fight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was so dope. Um, but one of the cliffhangers was like, hey, man, where did Vision go? So my question for you guys, I just want to hear your thoughts and your theories uh, we'll never know exactly until like Marvel releases something. But wh- what do you where where did Vision go? I think the better question would be who is Vision, or you know, as Drax might ask, why is Vision? <laughs> I do you better. How is Vision? <laughs> Somebody yeah. better check That's in it. on him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll take I'll take this question first. Um, I think it's a good segue of bringing in Doctor Strange because uh, Vision is very smart. He's mm-hmm. very – everything that he looks at, he looks into detail and he tries to understand what's going on. Mm-hmm. He might know what Wanda is. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. like Agatha said, she's more powerful than who? The Strong Doctor Strange. Strange. Yes, stronger than Doctor Strange. So he might have went to go get Doctor Strange because, well, witches tend to be good and evil. Right. right. You know, they're not always good all the time. They're evil sometimes. So she might, uh, and Wanda in the comics, at times she was evil. She did right. things selfishly. So I think we might see that. But mm. Doctor Strange is probably going to be brought in through Vision. I think that's where Vision went. Either there or to another Avenger. I think he went. He went to. So, I think that's where he went on that scene. So, so I so, kind of think. Oh, sorry, sorry, Luis. No, no. I was just kind of going to you, like to your question, Joe. Like you said, like who is like who, like what is Vision, right? Like to me, I think Vision is finally back to who who he originally was from the original like Infinity Saga, because like from what the Mind Stone Vision. Uh, kind of like zapped into him. You know what I mean? Because um, we saw him like recollect all his memories to the point where he died from Thanos. You know? Um, so like to answer your question, Joe, I think like we got, I think we got original Vision back, which makes, kind of makes sense because like don't forget, Vision is robotic and his data can be transferred into another body. You know what I mean? Kind of like Ultron in the sense when he was just able just to zoom, kind of like just transfer his bodies and kind of make be be the same person just in a different body. So like I think now we get we're seeing that because like don't forget Tony Stark he was able to create multiple visions and they have all the same data with just a different body. So like I think we I think the vision that you see now is that vision from the Infinity Saga. See, I, I don't, I think, I think it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that because uh, I'm going to get super nerdy on you guys right now. But if we look back, if we look back in 2002, Star Trek Nemesis, (laughs) um, (laughs) technically, uh, if you guys saw that movie, um, there's a character named data data, Mm -hmm. forgive me, forgive me, Patrick Stewart. (laughs) Um, there's a character named data. Um, and at the end of the movie, spoiler alert, you know, he dies, but he had a brother where he downloaded all his information. So Vision might have said, I am Vision because all of his memories were unlocked. But he, 
was his soul there? Was mm. he there? You know, well, the the vision that was in the hex, I think that was the soul. He was right, the, soul, the soul. soul. He was the mind, and then the the, the white vision was the vessel. He was the body. Right. So that's that. I, I think that's what because they were talking. I was trying to understand what the hell they were saying. Right. <laughs> and I couldn't under. I'm like, what are they talking about? Why are they talking? Should be fighting. Why are they talking? Yeah, I mean, even 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 in their fight, they're they were talking about like, man, like they were trying to define what is vision, like who who what definition defines the real vision? Because that was the that was like the program of white vision was to kill vision, like to destroy vision. So he was like. Which was smart of the Mind Stone to be like, all right, let's break it down. Let's break it down. Who's real vision? Because right now I'm just a, a fragment of 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 what Wanda sees of me. So I'm not really real because once this is gone, I'm dead. You know. So like, I love how he, they kind of got into that fight and argument of who is vision. Which is why, like, when when White Vision said, "I am vision," I think he. I think he got his soul, like his part of his soul, but not like entirety. Um, because don't forget, like, how would you react if you came back from the dead? <laughs> you, you know, twice. Like, you, you just, just came twice. Back to, like twice. You know, I'd like, probably try and save my girl. You know, yeah, but like, yeah. you know, and, and yeah. I understand to, to Chris's point, it does make sense that maybe he went out there, but it still felt very much like. There was a few things, right? Like, why yeah. didn't like why didn't Ghost Vision be like, hey, oh, by the way, the real me is out there, and I got his memories back, so you're gonna be fine. Go find him, maybe instead of yeah. going into a cavern and you yeah. know, like, and 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 you know, not praying or whatever. But like, it was just, it was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was a little weird the way they left off. It seemed very Eric character for the yeah. actual Vision. Well, the fight scene was awesome. And then yeah. for the fight scene to end like that, I'm like, that is just weird. Like, it's very in character for Vision yeah. now. Yeah, I mean, but it, like, I guess to me, I don't. It's also like it's out of character, but it's also in character. Like, it's out of character for Vision to leave Wanda, but it's also in character for Vision to kind of go off and kind of like meditate on what just happened. You know, because he's always analyzing what what just happened and kind of like thinking about like what just happened and how does this really make sense? You know what I mean? So like, yeah, it's out of character. He left Wanda, but it's also kind of in character for him to kind of like think about what just happened, you know, and I th maybe he's mad at Wanda for killing him the first time. Like, but, well, I wasn't I was only joking. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah there, I was only joking. Yeah. But you really did it. Yeah. Counterpoint. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's what what Vision is thinking. Like, 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 damn, damn bro, like, you, you really, really killed, killed me, girl. girl. Like, what's up? You know what I'm saying? We won't you know. Fine. We're not going to know until we actually see him come back and yeah. why he left. Because that's true. true. And now I want to know why. So I'm going to watch every single movie till he comes back now. So that's yeah. kind of like, uh, okay, now we got to wait. So once I'm, you yeah, I'm, back. I'm thinking there was going to be a chance that you were going to watch every other movie, uh, every movie anyway, because I know <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm going to watch every movie, but like for the person who doesn't really are not a Marvel fan or doesn't know the comics and the, the characters and stuff like we do, yeah. you know, for them, like I have people that said the, uh, the season sucked and, and those people the, and those suck. people are not comic I, they, you know, I'm, they don't suck, but they, they don't have the comic background like we do to have the understanding that you know, reading comic books sometimes the comic books are very weird. Yeah, when you're, you know what I mean. It it, it, it dives into your psyche, really yeah. does comic books, and, and I, I try to explain that to the, to them, and they're having a hard time. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, did you say amen? <laughs> Did, Josh, did you say amen? Are we not in agreement? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just, I don't know. Like, I was about to go off on the topic, 
And then I just heard, amen. And I was just like, wait, what am I? <laughs> wait, who's, who, I didn't know we were preaching. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so <clears throat> going back to phase four. Now, you know, Joe, I know you talked about it at the end where Wanda's in her, like, cabin where, you know, we see her, her, um, what's, what's it called? Control projection. Thank you. Her projection where she's, like, so literally... No, I'm just gonna talk about progression. When she's literally like doing the whole her whole entire like Doctor Strange. She's voguing, she's voguing with the book. She's voguing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, Zoolander three. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> Zoolander three. Now, do you think for like for for those that don't have Disney Plus, do you think like WandaVision is crucial for these future movies? Absolutely. I think I think I think all these TV episodes are going to have. Uh, certain elements to them. I mean, uh, well, let, let's break it down. What did this? What did this introduce? This introduced a brand new character that's going to be pivotal to Captain Marvel too. Um, a lot of people are going to see that because that's going to attract a, a different audience, um, sure. just like Black Panther to attract a different audience, just like um, uh, just like the Eternals will attract. The, the, that super jacked Indian guy audience. I don't. I forget. Oh, Camille. Camille. Uh, Kamala. The comedian. The, yeah, the comedian. Yeah. Comedian. Yeah, I, I'm. If I keep on trying to say his name wrong, I'm just going to come across just bad. So I'm going to stop. But <laughs> like, like, they each each of these different genre movies attract different people, you know. Right. So like, I think I think it's going to be very crucial that if they enjoyed Captain Marvel, if they enjoyed Black Panther, if they enjoyed other movies, if they just like the Spider Man movies, or if they hate the Spider Man guys, I had somebody. Can I just be real? One second. Can we have a moment? Yes. Absolutely. Somebody told me with absolute malice in their heart that they hate the Spider Man movies. And then they said Wait. the F word about the Spider Man movies. Wait, Wait with the, the Tom, Tom Holland, Holland one? one? Any of them, but especially the Tom Holland ones. Unbelievable. Yeah. Un freaking believable. Tell me. I, I can't. What's his I name? Need the, I need the name, bro. What's his name? It's a girl. Oh, disarm, guys. Uh, we're, just gonna have to, we're just gonna have to tickle her till she pees her pants. Yeah, that's we're gonna disregard work. what Chris said. Uh, <laughs> that's just so weird. Um, and I don't want no legal. I don't want no legal problems. <laughs> uh, Come on, but, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. Um, Joe's doing it, not us. Okay, it's cool, cool to pee your pants. Everybody's doing it. Yeah, everybody's doing it. Everybody's I don't, doing it. I don't think that's what Chris meant, but yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think that's what he meant, but cool. Um, anyway. go. So, yeah, go. So, feeding off what you just said, Joe, like, yeah, I definitely agree with you. Like, you know, I think a lot of people that don't have Disney Plus haven't seen WandaVision, that's going to see, like, let's be honest, everybody's going to go see Marvel movies. You know what I mean? Like, they're, they're hit wonders. You know what I mean? They... They break box office, you know what I mean? And uh, we're coming to that point where, like, maybe not... I don't think this year, because this year we have Black Widow. We have... Uh, what do we have? We have Spider-Man, and then we have Sha Sha Shing, right? Sha Shing and the Ten Rings. Sha Shing and the Ten Rings. That's a, is that the Dr. Seuss version of Shang-Chi? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right? But... but yeah, I think we are. And then what's the? We're getting another one. We're getting the fourth one. Uh, we're getting Spider Man. Spider Man. Far from home. I already said Spider Man though. Okay, Spider Man. So we've, got, we've got Eternals, Black Widow. Oh, Eternals. That's what I didn't say. Shashank, so Eternals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Shai. Yeah. Hi. Good. And I, and we also got the Spider Man title uh, uh, earlier in the week, uh, which is No Way Home, which is kind of cool because he ain't going home. He might not even be staying in this universe. We don't know. The the uh, the uh, unveiling of the name of the movie was good. The video, especially when you pause the whiteboard and actually read all the different names, it was very 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 good. It was, I mean, I liked it. Yeah, it was oh, good. He can't, it was... Keep a secret. he can't keep a secret. That's why they yeah. did. Yeah, like, yeah. Tom Holland can't keep a secret for his life. We love you, but you can't keep a secret, man. Well, um, the, the one he was the one who's saying he's like Toby Maguire's not in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> 
they haven't told you then. Or you're just, yeah. or he's just really like leaning into like, oh, I can't keep a secret now, you know, type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I um, would have kept Home Slice as the real yeah, title. The, the movies, we got the movies, but we also have shows this year, man. Falcon yeah. Winter Soldier. Then after that, in June, we got Loki. And then later in the year, we have Haw- Hawkeye. Yeah. So yeah. I think we have, we have um, do we have Hawkeye for sure? It, they said uh, they said late they said late of 2020, but they never put an f- official date to it. They we got, got Miss Marvel too. Yeah, Miss Marvel also. I, I oh, Ms. Marvel. oh, Miss Marvel! Yo, she from New Jersey, Hoboken. Let's go. It's Jersey City, but I forgive you. Yeah, I mean it, the Marvel the Marvel universe is just growing, and it's. I think you I think you need to watch everything, yeah. if you're a fan to have. Like uh, the people are having issues with WandaVision. I can say you have to watch it because it's connected to everything. This is the beginning. Yeah. And and, Wanda, the- and Wanda is going to be a pivotal role, like Tony Stark was as Iron Man. Yeah. You know, it's 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 real. So it, I got a great I got a I got a great question for you guys. Uh, um. Because I don't know where I stand on it. I kind of know where I stand on it because it's mixed. But at the end of the day, was Wanda the villain? Uh, okay, I got this. I'm tackling it. I'm tackling it. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, I think Wanda. I like. Okay, so I think Wanda in WandaVision was the villain. Like, let's be honest. Like, she she caused the hex. She. You know, I mean, I I know, I understand that she was heartbroken. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. Like, my sister, my fault, man. I'm so sorry that no one came and confronted you. Like, uh, your man died twice. I'm so sorry. Um, but, like, she caused so much pain to all those citizens. You know what I mean? They felt her pain. They felt her her, her nightmares, you know? Which was also kind of like a little subway for Doctor Strange. But I'm not going to talk about that. Um so I think like even at the end they looked at her funny like they like even though they were released from all that she casted on them they saw they still all saw her with like a different point of view they're like man like you you caused so much pain in our lives you know what I mean and and even at the end you know as Agatha was like man you have no idea what you just unlocked you know and she's playing with dark magic she's not playing with like like you know good magic you know what i mean like doctor strange magic she's she's in a dark sorcery kind of dark magic you know what i mean where just like it says dark magic it's literally evil magic it's literally like you know it, even in the house of m she was the bad guy you know what i mean so like i think like as of right now i think she'll go to the to crazy extent to make sure that she has her kids back so that like which is why, like, I think that's why we heard Billy and Tommy at the end. You know what I mean? Like, saying, mommy, mommy, mommy. And I think she will go to no ends being the villain to go get her kids back. Which is why, like, I think, like, <clears throat> that she will be the villain. You know? And she's all powerful. I, you know, I, I do agree on those points. But I think she was an indirect villain. And what I mean by that is she had no knowledge of her powers so she didn't really know how powerful she was she was very sad and what do we know about emotion when it comes to a supernatural being is it enhances their powers so she was very sad she went to that location where they were supposed to live in a house you know live the rest of their days in the house and she was very heartbroken her power ended up ended up taking over her so she projected so i don't think she meant it to happen it just happened because she has a lot of remorse for the people that are there that's what we saw when she's standing in the middle of the street and she's seeing everybody in pain so at that point or through the whole season i don't think uh she was meant to be the villain but she didn't think she was the villain she didn't she had no idea yeah, I mean, uh, here's the thing you you either you either die the hero or live long enough to become the villain. Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> I but needed no, that but, reference. Yeah. But, <laughs> no, no, you make you make a great point. You know what I mean? 
It's a good point. Because, like, let's be honest. Like, yes, yeah, she started as a hero, but I think as time goes on, like, she will be the villain. You know what I mean? Like, I think... She's going to lose her way, man. She's going to lose her... I think she's going to lose her way. And I think Doctor Strange is going to, like, bring it back in and say, you know, you can't do it this way. Because right. she, she came from a broken home. Let's put it that way. She came from a broken home. And she does. She doesn't know. She's trying to do good, but she really doesn't know what's good or or right. You know what I mean? Right. And right now she's being selfish. Let's be honest. She's being a selfish person. That's what selfish people do with power. Now, at the end of the Wandavision, she says, "I don't know what. I don't understand the powers I have, but I will." Right. That's her. Her powers are dark. So. She can't read no other book besides the dark hole. There's there's yeah. no other book that she can read because her magic is dark, is evil. So I think she's yeah. trying to learn what she could do and maybe take the what she could do and use it in a good way, but she's gonna have to learn along the way. So she's gonna try something and she's gonna have to live with the consequences. Now this isn't our first time dealing of course, this is going to be dicey, but this isn't our first time dealing with the Darkhold in the MCU. Technically, yeah. um, sure. if you count sure. if you count Agents of Shield, which not a lot of people do, I don't even think Feige <laughs> wants to count it. Yeah. But they did deal with it a lot. You it know? wasn't that bad. I mean, Agents yeah. of Shield's idea of it wasn't that bad. Yeah, uh, I did. I did like the notion that Ghost Rider mm-hmm. is a demon from that book. So I'm hoping that maybe we will see that. I do want to see Ghost Rider again in MCU. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, you know, uh, I just think we just got a different spin on it. I think there's many ways that book could be brought to how how its powers work or what's right. in that book. So I, I really, I think Wanda is going to be evil, but then she's going to end up being good. Yeah, which is day. why I think- she's going to be happy. I think she's going to be happy at the end. Yeah. Which is, yeah, I, I agree to that because, again, I think White Vision and Doctor Strange are going to come through. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> but, so, so guys, here is the final question. Ready? Are you guys ready for this? The most important question that you guys are going to have to answer today. Are you guys ready for this? Let's go. Joe, are you ready for this? I've been born ready for this. Been okay. born ready for this? Yeah, all those things. <laughs> so here's my question for you guys final verdict do you give WandaVision a pass or do you give it a fail I'm gonna jump right in with a big old pass big, big old, old pass. pass pass I give it a I give it a pass if you're a Marvel fan I give it a fail if you suck at life so <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, um, no, guys, I think th- this was such a great experience. I think this is so, so new for Marvel to do to bring this TV series. I can't wait for Captain Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like, it's literally going to be here like within a week. You know what I mean? Um, this is what I like. One show ends, another one begins two weeks later. There's no, yeah. we have to wait a whole year. For another show. This right. is how it's supposed to be. I think this is how it's supposed to be. Then also in between there is gonna be the movies. Yeah. So we're it's gonna be nonstop action for Presumably. I I'm pretty sure Black Widow got pushed to next century. But yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> yeah, they need to release that movie. They need to that, release that movie. ASAP. Yeah. Like it has nothing like I don't think it has anything to do with Phase Four. They I'm keep on honest. saying they keep on saying it has nothing to do with the movie. <laughs> Uh, with, with what's going on, but I think it does. That's why they're delaying it because I think it, there's some parts of it. Because the only reason why I say that, did you guys see the trailer for Loki? The recent trailer for Loki. I did not. Um, I did not either. So in in the recent trailer for Loki, there is a woman sitting by herself in some kind of weird, like it looked like a, a, a cave mm-hmm. with a little light coming down on her i think the woman sitting in in on the rock yeah. is black widow mm. she has red hair and sh- short red hair and wearing mm. all black it, it could, could just be, be me. me 
Wow. But I think that I think that's where people go when they die, when uh, when they give their life for the uh, soul stone. Oh, so Ooh. so that I'm means like, it could be Ariel too. Multiverse Disney. Think yeah, about it. Yeah, thought yeah. Ariel. <laughs> Ariel. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just saying the Loki looks good. Loki. I think I think we're gonna get a lot of answers, especially with uh, time. Yeah. yeah, with Loki. Yeah. So yeah, guys. So definitely. Uh, our our recommendation is go watch WandaVision. If you haven't seen it, if, I don't know what the hell you're doing with your life. Go watch it. It's going to be important. Not spending enough help. time with their grandmother, yes. that's for sure. <laughs> that's for sure. So definitely watch WandaVision. Watch because it's, it's definitely going to be important for this phase four. Uh, like we said it like in our previous, all these videos that you've been watching, like it's going to be, it's going to get nutty and it's going to get weird. And the multiverse is going to just, it's just going to confuse you guys. Like, you know what I mean? So definitely tune in for these series because it's, it's just going to make sense all together. You, you know might have mean? to watch it more than once. Just yeah, maybe I, watch it three times to understand it. Yeah, I definitely cried like three times watching the season finale. But that's it. Um, so before we end, you know, before we end, you know, I, I have me and Chris kind of have a little surprise for you, Joe. What? Um... So, are you ready for the surprise? I'm ready for the surprise. Hit me up. Oh, oh, so. Guys, he has no idea what's just about he to happen no either. no clue what's going to happen. Yeah, he has no idea what's going to happen. And uh, I can't wait to hear his uh, his opinion or his, his uh, I want to see his face. Um, <laughs> so, Joe, you know, you know, last time we had you on the show, you were talking about how like, you did a lot of Addies. You know what I mean? And, you, you know... You, you know, you were just doing Addies like there was no tomorrow. So, you know, <laughs> so Chris and I were talking and we were wondering if you wanted to add, be our add on to the show. Like a Sky Guy 3? Yes. Yeah. Like you be now part we're a of tripod, our team. Bro. We're a tripod. We're a tripod. If I like the lightsaber, is that a sign of, of addition? This is. If you say yes, we will knight you. We're going to knight you. I say yes. Please knight me. Oh, please tell me you're adding powerful music and post. Oh, I <laughs> oh it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. It's going to happen. I felt yes. it. Yes. You guys, all up together, at least for a snapshot. We did it. <laughs> I humbly accept and I will not let you guys down but I'm going to have to buy more toys now welcome, to <laughs> welcome. well guys you officially saw it Joe Dalio is part of the Sky Guy Collectors this is exactly what we, we, we strive for we want you guys to be part of this community and the, the way that you can join this community is being is joining us on Facebook Instagram Com commenting on our YouTube channel is the way that you guys can be part of this community because guys, we just love being nerdy and collecting stuff. It's uh, you know, leave comments, you know, hit that, hit that thumbs up. If you come in to watch that video, please, it just takes a quick second, hit that thumbs up, you know, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, uh, we would like you guys to join our, uh, our nerdiness, man. This is what we do. This is what we like, you know, so please, words. please, please. Joe, last words, man. Anything? Well, I'm, dude, I'm, I'm a flood of emotion right now. That's why I'm wearing my Cyclops glasses, so you can't see my eyes. Um, also, I felt like I look like Bono, but then I don't even like you too. So I'm, there's just, there, I'm, I'm just, there's a lot of confusion and excitement yes. and emotion, and I've been gripping this thing really extra hard, which makes me feel weird so i'm just gonna say that um i think uh i think i think people need to go grab their grandmothers that's, that's right. right whatever they're doing lightly, grab them lightly. i'm gonna go grab my grandmother not lightly because <laughs> that woman's beast. Uh, but um i'm looking forward to contributing on all the nerdy stuff that we're gonna do um it's gonna be let's awesome go, let's go let's go guys well <clears throat> this is your boy louise I'm out. Chris, guys, peace. Thank you. Talk to you guys later. Oh, did I have to do a sign off too? Oh, and yeah. and and, and j j j jadib, jadibs, Joe. No, just Joe. Just Joe. Joe. All right, guys. See ya. <laughs>